morning guys, it's Charlie here with North 40 Fish. We're here today with Calvin, and we've got Ken from North 40 Hunt behind the camera. And we're gonna be doing some trolling for some big uh, rainbows out here on Lake Ponderay in Idaho. Not ideal conditions today. No? No. Blue skies, kind of It's really it nice though. Yeah, it's really nice. It's ideal. Ideally you want some wind. Going about a foot of chop, two feet of chop, but I think uh, we're gonna be lucky if we get any chop today. Cloudy conditions are definitely a little better, so. Why do we want the chop? Ah, uh, the fish feel more comfortable. It's like, uh, you know, they get, when they're babies, they get attacked by eagles and osprey and things like that. And when you get chop on the top of the water, it kind of breaks up their outline. And the kokanee come up, basically these fish are feeding on little three, four, five inch kokanee. And uh, we're gonna put out probably eight rods with different colored kokanee flies. Like you can see, we got a bunch in here. Basically, we just go through, kind of dial in what color they want and what speed they want to eat them at. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be learning curve for Charlie here, but we're gonna get out there and do it. Yeah, this will be a first for me. I've never uh, done the, this is a deep lake too. It's like a thousand feet. So yeah, so. yeah, it's a little over, I think it's over 1200. People say 1100, 1200 feet yeah. down towards the south end. They actually do submarine testing here. That's awesome. They have a Navy base in Bayview and they build like a, they call it a mini sub, but it's really, it's huge. So, it's like the testing. Yeah, sonar testing. But yeah, they've been catching a lot of big rainbows. Water temp's 52 right now, so it's pretty ideal. Usually you want it like 55 and down until about like 38, and then after below 38, they get pretty sluggish. So the lake is turned over, the fish should be up on top, and we're just gonna try to get one to bite. Been a few 25 pounders caught the last couple weeks, so. Let's let's try to beat that. I'd like to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Calvin, I think we got our chop. We got our chop. I think if you go faster to the chop, it actually makes it smoother. I'll let you know. <laughs> That one. <laughs> <laughs> like the wind might come back if we get a strong bit. Put it on there and you take and put this about half. Strip straight out the motors. There you go. Good deal. Does that look good, Calvin? Yep. To now, Calvin. Put on a little, little different color here. A little brighter color fly since it's a brighter day. <laughs> fighter there, huh? I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Woo! Oh, yeah. That's a giant. Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, look at that head shake. <laughs> oh, he's off, too. Yeah, he's off. It's not how you do it. Status update. It's pretty flat out here, Ken. What are we doing to try and combat the flat conditions? Uh, I ran a line on my planer board to get it lower to the water so I get some more hop. Then we stacked a downrigger right here with a little swim bait. Put another downrigger out on this side. So we're down 25, 20, 25, and 40. Right. Just 
still have seven flies on top. Hopefully it'll pick up this afternoon. Here's hope. back nope. empty-handed we're excited for tomorrow yeah I think tomorrow's gonna be like actual fish well it's the crappy weather that Calvin's saying we need so yeah and it really can't get any worse fishing wise than today but can't really get any better weather wise than today yeah so it's still a win either way Heck yeah 